Today we are in yellow. Yellow is a color of hope, positivity, excitement, joy. We are free, we are excited about the freedom we are experiencing. Wow, life is beautiful. Life is glorious. Hi there, it's a lovely day. It's a wonderful day. I'm so excited. I haven't seen you in four weeks. I ask for your pardon. Everything's been going phenomenally wonderful and I hope that you're doing great at home. My viewers, thank you so much for your support. We come to you today from Nishan Tashi Studio. We're excited to spend yet another day with you. Today, I would love to speak about a very dear topic to all of us as human beings, as this uh, homo sapiens species. The topic I want to touch base on today is love. <laughs> I'm such a love girl, pardon me. The love queen, of course. There are different types of love. We have the empathy bond, the friendship love, and the agape love, the love of God. We have the romantic love, of course, men and women or men and men, woman and woman, depending on your preference. So I'm not here to teach us on love. I just want to talk about a very dear topic to me with regards to love. Why is it that you might say, I love her, I love you. I love him so much, but you find yourself lamenting. You find yourself feeling unhappy about the relationship. You find that the person, your partner is not happy, is not contented. Perhaps they even go out of the way and chat up some other girl, some other man. And you say, I cannot let go of him because I love him. If you are stuck with, I love him, I love her, perhaps you need to dig deeper, whether this love is truly for him or for her, or it's perhaps because you have a need, a personal need. It's what you need at this particular time or moment. I have experienced love in different colors we have to be unselfish enough to evaluate where the love we're talking about really comes from it might be a selfish love and if truly it is a selfish love you need to let go of the person you're saying you're loving because you truly aren't loving the person you're doing it for yourself and this is what we call selfish love but on the other side, we have unselfish love. The love that is willing to let go, no matter how you feel about this person. You don't want to suffocate them. You don't want to make them feel uncomfortable. If there's constant bickering, there's constant conflict, there's constant not getting along or not agreeing, you can come to a point where you say, yeah, I really have these strong emotions about this person, but I'm willing to love them from afar and be the better and bigger and maturer person and let them go. This is what I call pure, beautiful love. This is very close to the agape love, the love of God. So tell me, what is your take on love? What is love for you? What is the definition of love as per perspective. I believe the best expression of love is letting go. Sometimes we just have to let people from a distance. We just have to love people from afar off, whether they're, they're family, a partner, a friend. This is the best expression of love because it's so typical of us to be having this energy of attachment, memory, things that we share together. 
can deny us to let go of the people that we say we love. But does it make them happy? Does it make you happy? These are the questions we need to ask ourselves. Love is beautiful when it's equally shared. Love is beautiful when it's equally given. Once the one party feels like they're not receiving it, it gets very burdensome and we don't want that. Are you the only one working on the progression of your love? Whether it's your mom, your dad, your friend, your colleague, your lover, your partner. It's time to let go. Trust me, with time you will surely heal. You will thank yourself for letting go of this person. Love sets free. My favorite book says so. Love is kind. Love is passionate. Love is true. So you have to be true to yourself. Always. True love for me means your utmost concern is about in a relationship. It's about the other person's happiness. I do not mean in a self-sacrificing way, but this shows some level of maturity, some level of confidence when you're willing to give love without expecting anything. This is true love for me. If you are in a selfish relationship, as I said before, it's time to take the bull by its horns and let go of this kind of relationship. Guess what? It doesn't have to be just a romantic relationship. You can show yourself that love. You can cultivate that love first yourself before you give it to the others. Maybe it's a sign that you need to work on yourself deeply within thyself. So relationships are very special to me. I was born in October 16, so I don't want to go into horoscope stuff, but a Libra is a very loving person. And sometimes we tend to love the wrong people. Or maybe should I say, we tend to love the people who don't know how to reciprocate this love. It can be dangerous too. So the next time you fall in love, you have to evaluate your love. Are you loving from a place of truly loving or from the need you have at the point, the current uh, moment? Are you loving from your heart or are you loving from the need to love? Dr. Maya Angelou said, love recognizes no barriers. It jumps hurdles, leaps fences, penetrates walls to arrive at its destination, full of hope. How I love this quotation. The love we have for each other should do the same. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, you new viewers. And we're also on Instagram as A Jacqueline. A Jacqueline, small letters, J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N without an E. We appreciate you so very much. We thank you for the time you're spending with us. We appreciate you. We wouldn't be this far if not of your support. Thank you so much. God bless you. Namaste.